Welcome to a video from the digitallifestyle.com. New Windows 10 build to look at. This is 18.950 for Windows Insiders on the fast ring. This is a 20H1 build, which means this build is due the first half of next year. I'm running it here on my on a virtual machine on my Surface Laptop 2. Uh, sometimes you use my Surface Go, but on the virtual machine today. So what's new in this build? Well, at this stage, there's not a huge amount of changes and new features. There's some changes to the Japanese input methods well, which I don't have so I'm not going to show you that. So the only changes that I can show you are some of the snip and sketch uh, improvements and some of the minor changes. So I'll just quickly go through those. So um, there you can see you've got the um, shortcut on there and one of the other things is a windowed mode so um, you can make a snip there you see and that opens it in a new window and if I do another new one you see it opens in a new window like that now one of the changes that's coming with these builds and it's not in this build yet is there's a window mode it's in the settings and um, Rather than keep popping up a new window, it just stays in this one main window. So I've not got that setting yet. Uh, so I can't uh, show you that, but that's coming soon. So um, the setting will be on here. Another change is the zoom mode. You can use control plus and control minus to, and, or your scroll wheel to, to zoom in. But that's delivered through the uh, store. So I'll do a quick check of that while we're talking to make sure that if, if I can get up to date on that one. The rest of the changes are all the usual minor fixes. So um, when you do a PC reset, uh, which you can do through settings, so you know you can do the thing where you want to reset your PC if it's gone wrong. Um, I'm not going to do it now, but one of the options you see on there is to do a cloud download. So it's when you do your reset, is to do a cloud download. So that will potentially drag it down from the cloud, the image on the cloud. It doesn't work at the moment but it's uh, coming soon in the builds and we'll look at that in the future. They fixed the issues when um, pasting from a clipboard, they fixed some uh, Korean IM input method fixes and they fixed an issue where OneNote would, um, where OneNote was thinking that the control key was down so they fixed that as well. So the known issues on this build, uh, they're getting a bit less actually, there's still the anti-cheat issue if you've got older versions of anti-cheat software, it can cause problems, real tech SD card readers, tamper protection, so real tech SD card readers, SD card readers, that's an old one, been around for a while, that, um, that won't work, and uh, tamper protection might be turned off, and some um, input methods might not work, they're old issues and have been around for some time so that's it really so no new known issues so i can't really show you much else i like doing these videos because they document all the changes so you can go on a youtube channel and see all the build changes some minor some major and i've got the details on the digitalized.com so subscribe if you like the video and thanks for watching this one i'll see you on the next video